Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week 8 assignment of the course data mining. So guys, for the past 5 years, we have been giving solutions for various NPTEL courses. So for now, I am going to give you a solution for week 8 data mining course. So definitely subscribe our channel guys, like this video and please share that with your friends and classmates. And do watch the full video guys, don't skip the video. Let's see the first question. So guys, I have tried my best to give you the most probable solutions. If you differ with any of my solution, you can please give your opinion in the comment section. So we will try to sort it out. So before final submission, once again, check the comment section guys, because if there is any change, I will update in the comment section itself. So first question, regression is used in what? Which type of data mining? So for first question, the answer is option A guys, predictive data mining predictive data mining so mark option a next moving on to the second one second question in the regression equation y equals 21 minus 3x what is the slope so for second question the answer is option d minus 3 guys option d minus 3 next moving on to the third one third question so before getting into this question i want to make a small announcement guys so so for the course data mining so we have prepared the exam preparation mcqs guys these are the combination of previous year questions as well as our own prepared question guys so here you will get a huge number of 150 MCQs guys in a Google Drive PDF link. So 150 MCQs. So for one person it is just 250 rupees only guys. For one person it is 250 rupees and for two to five persons combinedly it is 500 rupees guys. So if any one of your classmates are doing the same course along with you, then you can team up with them and you can combinedly buy for 500 guys. You can share the price among yourself. So for very less price you are getting that. Even if you are one person, no need to worry guys for one person it is 250 only so with less price you are getting 150 mcqs guys so these are completely prepared based on nptl syllabus guys 100 percent nptl syllabus based questions so it, it, these are prepared in order to make it easy for you to know the concept guys so with five years of nptl experience we have prepared this guys so this is the email id you have to mail me if you want to if you want to purchase this guys so only mail me if you want to purchase for any other Doubts you can ask me in the YouTube comments itself. No need to mail me. So I will give the same email ID in the description box as well. And there is one, another thing guys. It is a sample pack YouTube membership. Here you will only get 60 plus MCQs guys. If you want this the price is 89 rupees. And only available in video format not PDF like 150 MCQs. So it is only for one person and 89 rupees. And for one month guys. If you want this YouTube sample pack eight, with 60 plus MCQs. Go to our channel page. So this is our channel page, S Kumar Edu is our channel name. So beside this, in the, beside the subscribe button, there is join button. So click on the join button and a window will be appear like this. So there is second option, 89 per month videos only for members pack. So click on that join button and once again and make payment directly to YouTube guys, not me. So directly you will get access for the YouTube membership and you can get access to all these members only videos guys. So here I have prepared the data mining course also for the video. So you can get that guys. But my suggestion is instead of taking this YouTube membership pack, which is a sample pack, it's better to take this complete 150 MCQs pack so that you can cover all week syllabus guys. So take it now itself so that you can, you will not get any pressure at the end and you can also get enough time to revise guys. So 150 MCQs just for one person it is just for 250 rupees and for two to five persons combinedly for just 500 rupees guys. So this is the mail ID if you want to purchase guys. Now let's get back to the solutions. Third question. The output of a regression algorithm is usually a what? So the answer is option A a real variable. Option A real variable. Next, fourth question. Fourth one, regression finds out the model parameters which produces the least square error between what? 
So for the fourth question, the answer is option C, output value and the target value. So option C is the probable solution for fourth question, guys. Now moving on to the sixth one. Sixth one. The linear regression model y equals a0 plus a1x is applied to the data in the table shown below. What is the value of the sum squared error function s of a0 comma a1 where a0 equals 1 and a2 equals I mean a1 equals 2. So they have given the data in the form of table along with the equation along with the parameters. So what is the value of sum squared error function with, the, with those given parameters in the table? So for fifth question, it is option D 54 guys. Next, sixth one. The sixth question. Consider x1 and x2 to be the independent variables and y is the dependent variable. Which of the following represents a linear regression model? A linear regression model. So for sixth question, it is option B guys, y equals a0 plus a1x1 plus a2h2. Option B, y equals a0 plus a1x1 plus a2h2. So option B is the correct answer for sixth question. Next, seventh one. Seventh one, find all the eigenvalues of the following matrix A. So this is the matrix guys. So we have to find the eigenvalues of this matrix A. So when I did this, I have got the answer as option C guys. One, two, three. Next, moving on to the eighth one, eighth question. So the eighth one. In the figures below, the training instances for classification problems are described by dots. The blue dotted lines indicate the actual functions and the red line indicates the regression model. Which of the following statement is correct? So for eighth question, I think the probable solution is option B guys. Figure 1 represents underfitting and figure 2 represents overfitting. Next, ninth one. In principal component analysis, PCA, the projected lower dimensional space corresponds to what? So dash. So for ninth question, it is option B, guys. Eigenvectors of the data covariance matrix. So mark option B as correct answer for ninth question. And moving on to the final question of the assignment, that is tenth one. So before getting into this tenth question, I want to once again make you remember, guys. So you are getting a huge number of 150 MCQs. For one person it is just 250 rupees guys. And for 2 to 5 persons combinedly it is 500 rupees guys. So this is the mail ID if you want to purchase this. 150 MCQs pack guys. So it will be helpful for you in the final exam preparation guys. And there is sample pack YouTube membership. You can join our channel for 89 rupees. But it is only for one person and one month. And only available in video format guys. But my suggestion is it is better to take this 150 MCQs. Because you are getting that in a Google Drive PDF link. You can easily search any question you want and for one and it is it touches all the eight week questions guys. So this is the mail ID if you want to purchase then only mail me guys. Next moving on to the final solution that is 10th question I think. So yeah 10th one a time series prediction problem is often best solved using which type of regression guys. So that for 10th question the probable answer is uh, option B auto regression auto regression. So mark option B as correct answer for the probable solution for 10th question. So friends, these are the solutions for week 8 assignment of data mining course. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and definitely share that with your friends and classmates guys. And don't forget to purchase this 150 MCQ spec. It will very much help you in the preparation for the final exam phase. So keep supporting us like this. So until the next video, goodbye.